This your boy Baller. It's the best day of my life, man. Like, subscribe, share, man. Get in the comment section. Uh, why F and Lucha about to come home, bro? Um, I'm not now covering current events, but this topic is current, but it's relative to the theme and the culture that we have over here at the best day of my life. Because the state of Georgia has the highest recidivism rate in the southern eastern United States. <clears throat> recidivism is the rate at which individuals return back to prison. Like, sometimes people can get out and they got their paperwork. But if your mindset hadn't changed, if your belief system hasn't been altered, if there was no shifting of the paradigm, then it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. And this is not a personal opinion. These are in my Cat Williams voice. These are just facts, sir. <laughs> These are just facts. Uh, prison is a business. The jail is a business. Crime is a business. Crime does pay. Uh, not in the way in which you think it would, but crime definitely does pay. Crime pay 401ks around here. But anyways, so uh, his circle, his support system has to be different. Because I am a civilian. Most of us are civilians. <clears throat> and even in that aspect, man, you go into environments that you, you know, you haven't been in uh, for a while. And from an emotional aspect, from, from an emotional perspective we couldn't wait to get here <clears throat> it takes a strong person to to go through parole probation or uh, any of that uh, paperwork it's not most people violate most people that parole and probate out violate it's true it's so many real offenders in jail right now man and um, <clears throat> I'm not saying that he's going to reoffend or that he's going to violate. What I am saying is this. That you got your circle got to be on point. You got to be on point. You got to be in a place where you got to be scared. You got to switch all the way up. Because in my mind, you got to, I guess you got to move how gun to move. Because ain't gun on uh, parole or paperwork. I got some type of uh, legality to, to where if he violate, he'll go back to jail. Man, staying all the way out of the way. And it happens. I know brothers who have come home and stayed all the way out of the way. Ain't nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. <clears throat> it happens. But I also know a lot of people that that real thin. I would say, in my, if I, uh, uh, I hate to say if it was if it was me. Because a lot of times we'd be on this if it was me and we don't know what these people be going through. <clears throat> if I had a situation where I was on parole, I would not do drugs. I would focus in on my money, man. I would be trying to figure out how to run my bag. Up. Unfortunately, some of us, man, we continue to be who we were prior to. Especially if we're in the system. Okay, so before we get locked up, we're habilitated technically we're habilitated then we go to the joint or we go to these establishments or entities and they let us go because we've been rehabilitated from a technical perspective from a a, def, a definition of the very term habilitated rehabilitate is counterproductive it's a contradiction because I was habilitated when I came in here. I'm going to go through this. Now I'm going to be rehabilitated, which means that I'm going to go right back into the system that uh, or the, the initial mind state prior to my arrest. That to the side. If you in jail and you still participating in some of the same stuff that you was participating in <clears throat> when you was on the street, if you still thugging, you still got the nonsense going on. 
listen to me. <clears throat> it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. I pray, I hope, I send positive energy this brother away, man. Don't violate, bro. Don't violate. I think he might have got stabbed up not too long ago. Bro, stick to your guns, man. Change. Switch this thing up, bro. Some people, it don't take a whole lot for them alone, man. And what I'm going to start doing on my channel, I'm going to start, because <clears throat> I've been paying attention to the, the YouTube University. Um, when you get done with this video, go look at some of my other videos, man. Because our goal, a part of our company culture, is to help keep teens out of trouble by way of scary stories or uh, rehabilitated stories, even though the term is uh, ironic and sometimes contradictory. We want to educate by way of inspiration, uh, true prison stories, uh, stories of redemption, stories of overcoming. That's what I aim for. That's what we will continue to do. I need for you to like, share, subscribe, leave some comments, man. Let's uh, welcome home white F N Lucci. Anybody that you know that's on paper, man, get them connected with a community of people who are kind of going through the same thing. Because sometimes it helps when you're surrounded with people who are in a similar boat. Because you going out, ain't nobody else on parole or probation. And when it's time for you to sit your down, you need to go ahead and sit down, bro. But keep in mind, this is America. Highest prison population in the world. Georgia has one of the highest percentages of recidivism, which is the rate in which individuals reviolate and return back to jail. It's going to be hard, but you can do it, bro. Best day of my life. Tomorrow's not promised. Like, share, subscribe.